There are so many ways that you can be the popular girl, the it girl, the one that has everybody after them, everybody wants them, but you could also be a nightmare. <laughs> Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo, and today we're talking all about mean girls. Well, mean girls in the UK, so we'll call this one the it girl. The author of the book is Ruth Ware. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller, okay? So I had never read a book by Ruth Ware. And let me tell you, that was a good one to start with, okay? So The It Girl is all about Hannah. She's in love, she's happy. She and Will are having a baby. Well, Hannah is distracted. She misses her doctor's appointments. She doesn't know if Will is cheating or they're having financial issues. She's being secretive from him, all of the stuff. And it's all because this girl dies when they're at university and Hannah blames it on one person. We don't know if they're really a killer. We're not quite sure. It's a mess. Oh, and to wrap it all up, the girl who dies was an absolute terror, right? Like she's always playing tricks and jokes on other people. Sometimes the jokes go way too far and that's kind of what happened in this case, all right? Off jump, would I reread this book? Yes. And I say yes because I had to read it twice. The first time I read it, I was really mad at Hannah. Like, Hannah, just let it go, okay? Your friend passed, you thought this person was the killer, it turns out that they weren't the killer. I get it, but forgive yourself, move on, you're having a baby. Well, that was a really, dismissive way of reading the book okay the second time I read it I was like I really hated Will okay Hannah's husband because Will knew that April liked him but then Hannah was with him but then did Hannah steal Will from April but then did April or did Hannah end up hurting April and I missed it like there were so many missing pieces the first time I read it. But then the second time I read it, I was really upset with Will because yeah, I get it. You're allowed to like someone and then like someone else, but Hannah and April were roommates. And then it just was too much. It was like, weren't there other women on campus? Like it was just, it was too much, okay? So let me tell you, the end of the book, I never really cared for that part. I was just like, okay, all right, sure. I didn't really think that there was a big enough like reason a big enough like motive for Hugh to have to do anything he was one of the friends yes he misses them yes he wants to come back but the second time I read the book I was like okay I don't like Will I don't like Hugh I don't like Hannah like pretty much all of the characters there wasn't one character in the book that you were like I like them maybe November but other than that, there wasn't one character where you were like rooting for them. All of the characters, Will, Hannah, April, Hugh, all of them had done something that made you really dislike them, okay? This book was a thriller because it was all about who done it. Was it you? Was it you? I'm mad at you. I dislike you, but does that make you a killer? Like, it was really good. It was really, really good. And then, the title I think is intriguing because you're reading it and you're like, Hannah is that girl. Hannah's the it girl. She wasn't in college, she is now. She has the perfect husband, she has the perfect baby, she has the perfect life. Oh, she wrongly accused someone. Oh, her best friend died in college. Oh. <laughs> the characters, there was not one endearing character short of November and we only get to see her for a couple pages, right? So the book was absolutely fascinating because it really does take a long while for you to figure out what happened and was the motive legitimate and it was good. It was good and if that's what Ruth was going for, I mean she definitely did it because you're reading the book and there's all kinds of intrigue and craziness and stuff going on. And in fact the book reminded me of this book by Leanne Moriarty called The Husband's Secret. And it's like when you find out that your spouse did something absolutely bizarre, maybe even before you knew them, how would that change things? How would that change everything, right? Which also reminds me of this other book review I did, okay? So if you enjoyed this book, you would love the book Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty, okay? So take a look at this review and I'll see you in the next one.